Hey guys, how you doing? So, uh, today I just want to talk about, uh, so, you know, the market for gaming is always, uh, ever-expanding, and there's always newer and better equipment coming out, so this is just my, uh, new computer build rig. It's mostly just Best Buy stuff, but it's still pretty good. It's got an i7, about 16 gig of RAM, 4070. It uses an HDD, but I also have a secondary hard drive, with, which is actually an SDD. I only got Cyberpunk and uh, Robocop on here right now, but in a bit I'm going to be installing a VR game. So the thing is, with uh, the new gaming market, whatever, there's always going to be, there's already new um, headsets on the market. Well, there's the Valve Index, and you have the new Oculus, Meta, or whatever they're called, the, the new Quests. I still have the uh, Quest 1 from back in 2019, so I decided to see how I can get this to work onto my computer so I could play uh, good VR games on there. So I tried originally the Oculus Link, which was a thing. So what you would do is when you got this, the USB-C port here, you can plug that into your computer's USB-C port with the Oculus app installed and you would be able to um, actually play Oculus games from their app on the computer directly to your um, Oculus Quest. So, I've, I've seen a way that you can actually do this with Steam games. So, like, you know, Steam is where you get all your good games. So, so let's say I want to play, like, Half-Life Alex, right? But that's way too much of a powerful game to play on the Quest alone. So, I'm going to install this onto my SDD. Uh, hold on a minute. I'm going to install this onto my SDD so it loads faster. So while that loads, we're going to go to our browser. We're going to install a virtual desktop. So virtual desktop is a, it's actually an app they have to pay for on the Oculus app itself in order to use it. But virtual desktop is basically like, um, basically like you can, it's like a remote desktop, but for VR. So you can install the app on here for free. So you install whatever version you use. So you have Mac and Windows. I have Windows 11, obviously. So yeah. So what you would do on the what you do on the Quest is you would pay for it on your Oculus account. Pay for it for about fifteen dollars. I think it's on sale now for ten. But uh, yeah. So you would go on there, and from what I know is when you have the headset with your account logged in, connected to the same Wi-Fi as the PC, after you finish installing it, the streamer. So all the virtual desktop streamer does is it gives a, a link from your computer to your VR headset so you can actually control it. So the, only, the, the way you can control it is um, you can use your controllers or you can use the hand tracking as a mouse to move the cursor and then on the app itself there's a virtual keyboard if you don't like the virtual keyboard there's also you can take a bluetooth keyboard and connect it to your headset now that's a little finicky if you don't know your way around a keyboard like i don't <laughs> so yeah i'll show a bit of footage of um it in action so now we got a virtual desktop uh, installed onto our desktop right now so as soon as I get my headset connecting to the Wi-Fi, it should automatically show up my Oculus username on here. But right now, as you know, the Oculus Quest, uh, it's, a, it's a rather old headset, so its battery life isn't, as, isn't gonna be as long as is it once were, so it's only got about an hour of battery life now. So what I use to charge it up pretty fast is I use this um, Raspberry Pi a USB-C charger it has a quite a high um, output. It does about five volts at three amps, so it charges relatively fast. So if we can look in there right now. Yeah, it's already turned on, so it won't show the percentage, but yeah, you heard the noise. It's, uh, it's on now and yeah, battery life isn't as great as it once were, but it can still run a few games, so I'll show a bit of footage of it running in a minute as soon as I, that headset's done charging and as soon as Half-Life Alex is uh, installed.
which is actually going to be pretty fast because we've got gigabit internet here.